Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disney Springs and I am so excited because the Flavors of Florida Festival is happening. From July 1st to August 11th, Disney Springs is having every single restaurant prepare a dish inspired by Florida, the Sunshine State. And I figured I'd come on out and make a little video and share my experiences with you. So we're gonna do some shopping, eat some cookies and have a beautiful Disney Springs kind of night. Anywho's, let's go do this. Today is July 2nd and it is so beautiful out. The temperature is 88 degrees and we've got blue skies. And doesn't Disney Springs look so beautiful? You can see the balloon up in the air there. I'm excited to go try some of the uh, flavors of Florida. I am so happy Disney Springs started doing their festivals on the first of the month because I used to be coming here every single month to try like the cookie of the month at Gideon's and then like three days later they would start some festival but this is the first time in a while it, it started on July 1st so everything is going on today and I'm going to go around and try to show you all the best snacks and cool things to do when you come uh, to Disney Springs this summer. Here is the Flavors of Florida event guide. And I love how they have all of the food offerings right on the first three pages. Look at all of these. This is all for the festival. And it's almost every single restaurant here. So we have a lot to choose from. And look at this one. They even have a strawberry shortcake donut, a sunny disposition, so many cool things. And Earl's creamy orange slushy. Wow, this gonna be a fun day. I normally come to Disney Springs every single month so I can show you what's new uh, and try some of the foods, but last month I missed it because I was traveling so much. So I'm happy to be back to show you everything new for July. Of course, we've got the cookies, we've got uh, the flavors of Florida, and uh, just also the drone show. I haven't seen the drone, like I've been gone away that I haven't been able to show you guys the new drone show that they have. I don't know if I'll make it all the way tonight because it's going to be a long day with a lot of the flavors of Florida. Florida, but it is something cool. I can actually see it from like my neighborhood. My first stop is gonna have to be here at Swirls on the Water because they have an orange bird cone and then an orange bird float. Look at this orange bird float. Dole Whip orange and watermelon swirl and a Fanta orange souvenir cup. And this is for the flavors of Florida and that melts quick. So we only got like a 10 second window. Eight. That's me. Thank you, my friend. Alrighty. Wow, look at that. Ooh, wow, that's gonna melt. <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful, but massive. Holy moly. I honestly can't recommend getting one of these. They just melt way too quickly, but they taste good. Oh, but look at that. Honestly, you can't eat on the go with it either. It's definitely something you gotta sit down and savor or else you'll be dripping Dole Whip all over the park. Other than it being a very big mess, it actually is. It is very delicious. I like the watermelon, but it also has one of those paper straws. So like everything's melting. <laughs> Now that we've tried the uh, Orange Bird Dole Whip float, I wanna move along and try some more of these little treats. This uh, Orange Bird Dome Cake looks good along with the Orange Hazelnut Mousse. And then they have an Orange Slushy. They've got a Tampa style Cuban sandwich at Chef Art Smith's Homecoming. St. Augustine Pepper Fritas at the Daily Poutine. Look at like everything, even a citrus burger at the Deluxe Burger. I like seeing all this stuff. It's like very like bright and flavorful food. We made it up to Amaretz and honestly, I feel like Amaretz has the most of the flavors of Florida items. They've got this dome cake here. And then look, they've got the orange hazelnut like mousse and then uh, an orange slushy uh, vanilla flavored vodka. Wow, and a little corticle cup. $39 for the cup though, but you get the drink at least in it. And I think I'm gonna go get the dome cake. I think I'm gonna get the dome cake. I went in there thinking they had a small orange bird dome cake like this Mickey one, but it was only the big one that cost like $65. But I noticed that they had a 4th of July treat. This is the regular Mickey dome, but they decorated with stars and stripes for the 4th of July. So I wanted to buy it so I can show you guys. And then this is the other uh, flavors of Florida item. This is the smaller one. This is like an orange mousse with like a, a curd and a little crust down on the bottom there. 
So I figured uh, we'd get them both and uh, try them. And this one I've had before. Like I said, the only thing different from this is just that they added the, the stars and the stripes. So here we go. I'm going to cut into this little cake. These are interesting. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like it. You can see on the inside of the cake. Oh, this is, it's got some nice strawberry to it. This is very, very good. Wow, I like that. White chocolate with some strawberry in the center there. This is a nice little cake. Now I want to try this one. Probably need to have a new fork. Don't want to contaminate it, you know? And I like how they have the little flavors of Florida sticker on top there. Oh, there's a lot of custard on the inside. There we go. Look at that little orange curd right in the center. Wow. This is so good. Honestly, it's going to be hard to beat this as my favorite treat. Like, this might be my favorite treat of this whole entire Flavors of Florida festival. This is so delicious. I like this better than the regular dome cake that they have. Lots of flavor here. And I don't know what this is at the bottom there, but I love it. Wow. I'm probably going to eat the rest of this one. Like, I got these little boxes, and I always like to save these bags for my mom because she likes to use them. I don't know what she likes to use them for. She just said, I like those bags, so I've been saving them for her. But, yeah, I like this. We have to keep moving along, but look at the piano. It's the piano that, like, drives around playing music here at uh, uh, Disney Springs. It's been a while since I've been in the world of Disney, but they got a lot of poo merchandise. Lots of poo. Look at it. I love this right here. It's really cool. This looks like a 90s version of like Winnie the Pooh. That shirt. My mom would like that too. They have a lot of good stuff. And of course, we just passed 626 Day with Stitch. So yeah, a lot of Stitch merchandise. But I'm looking for something Halloween-ish. We're getting close to that season. In fact, I think uh, the first Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party is in August. So I bet you we're going to be seeing some Halloween merch soon. A lot of people think August is too early for Halloween. Disney goes full sale, though. Like I said, it being just July now, I guarantee we'd find some Halloween merchandise in here somewhere. And within the next couple of weeks, there's going to be pumpkins. Look at some of these pumpkin spice shirts right here. But I think these are just youth. I wish they would make this for, like, adult sizes. I'd wear this. Pumpkin spice everything. Look at... Oh, wow, that has, that's actually a really cool shirt. And it's already for sale. We're going to keep moving along, though, because I do want to show more of the flavors of Florida. Actually, here's the poutine stand. Before, I was talking about how they have a St. Augustine uh, pepper fritas. I don't think I'd be eating this because it looks like it might be a little spicy. But they do have a bourbon orange punch, too. I always love coming here. They always have good food. We had a Dole Whip float. We had two dome cakes, so I don't want to dive into another dessert. I think we're going to make our way down to Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar, put our name in maybe at Gideon's, and then try out the flavors of Florida items there uh, because uh, they usually have great stuff. And Miss D's probably whipping up something good. I'm meeting up with a friend over at Jock Lindsay's, but I figured this wall right here would probably be the best wall to come take your photos with the flavors of Florida items. Look at it. The famous Florida citrus. And this is here all year round. I just love that wall. It's next to uh, Kate McKinnon's Bakery. <laughs> It's actually Aaron, not uh, Kate, but I said it one time on accident, so every time I walk by, I always think of that. And this is a cool spot, and it's always vegan, always gluten-free, and always delicious. And I bet you they have something for the flavors of Florida. I'll show you. Give you a little peek -see. Everything here is gluten-free, vegan, I'm looking for the flavors of Florida items. Do you know what they are? So the orange blossom. Oh, the orange blossom down here. Yeah, it's going to be orange. 
Wow. What is this one? A cheeseburger? So these are 40 live specials. What? The ones are going to be vanilla, the ice cream is going to be vanilla, and then the meat is going to be like a brownie. A brownie is the meat? Wow, that's really cool. I might want to try one of those when I come back. Kudos to Aaron McKinnon for having such a great like idea for the 4th of July. They have like a, a gluten-free vegan like hamburger dessert and like the, the meat is a brownie and it's really fancy. I, and I seen that they had the flavors of Florida like Orangeburg uh, uh, cake. But uh, I don't, I'm, like I said, I'm trying to stay away from the sweets and trying to get something a little bit more savory. So I'm going to hold off. But I would stop back and try that burger for the 4th of July. And wait a second, they got key lime tiramisu? I didn't even think that's a thing. That must be somewhere here, because that's pretty cool. I want to try that baby when we come back out. See, you keep on, everywhere has something for the flavors of Florida. Oh, I can see the menu right here for Jock Lindsay's Hanger Bar. Like, everywhere you go. And then we got Gideon's across the way there. Maybe we'll go see if we can put our name in. Uh, it might be time perfect to put our name in there. Uh, sit down and eat, and then by the time we get done... Oh, wait, there's nobody in line. Wait a second, there's nobody in line at Gideon's right now. This is pretty uh, remarkable. Uh, Gideon's has no line, so I hopped right on in, and here's the July uh, flavors of Florida. This month's limited edition cookies are Stewart's Orange Pecan Chocolate Chip and Bonnie's Lemon Poppy Crumb Cookie. I think I want to try Bonnie's. That sounds really good. Oh, man, they have so many good new things that I didn't realize they got two cookies this month. I was gonna wait to actually get like a, another sweet treat, but you can't, you know, pass up on that opportunity. And now more people are hopping in line, so we just got here right at the right time. Right time, huh? I ended up getting Bonnie's Lemon Poppy Crumb Cookie. I couldn't do both cookies because I've already had a bunch of treats, uh, but I couldn't, you know, pass up on the no line either. And they have other items for the flavors of Florida. I think it's like a key lime uh, little pie, uh, key lime pie cake bar. And then they have Stewart's Orange Pecan Chocolate Chip Cookie. But I just want Bonnie's Lemon Poppy Seed Crumb Cookie. Look at that. And look at the back there too. It does have a little glaze on it, but uh, I'm excited to try it. Here, it's from Bon Bon. <laughs> oh, look at that cookie break. The lemon is very strong in this one. Very, very strong. You see the crumb on top and then the glaze there. I don't, I'm not too sure how I feel about it. You know, compared to like uh, Stewart's orange pecan one. I don't know. The thing with Gideon's cookies is you know, a lot of them are the same thing from last year. Stewart's Orange Beacon, I've had that last year, and I wanted to try something different, but I don't know if I like this one this much. I'm not saying it's not, like, good. I'm just saying you really got to love the lemon, a lot of lemon, because it is very lemon forward. And uh, if you don't like lemon, I would definitely go with the Stewart cookie. But uh, now it's time to put that cookie down. Jock Lindsay's is where we're heading to next and then I think I might make my way down to Everglades or Summer uh, House on the Lake. There's a lot of, like I said, this is definitely not just one video. You could, I'll probably have to come back to show you guys all the food here for the flavors of Florida. Multiple trips because that's how, like there are so many different stops. Here is the Hangar Bars menu. They've got an orange Pilsner goat cheese dip. A f orange tangerine frozen margarita and a sunshine stroll orange pale ale. I don't know if I'm gonna like that orange pilsner goat cheese dip. I don't know about that, but uh, we'll head on in and uh, take a look around. I don't think I'm getting any of the goat cheese dip, but they do have a uh, Flavors of Florida beer that is an actual Flavors of Florida beer, and Kristen's here. Maybe I'll, she'll get the goat dip. Oh, you know I am. <laughs> Chris is gonna get the goat dip. The goat dip. <laughs> They are stepping up their game. They actually have their own beer. Look at that. The Sunshine Stroll. I, I, you know what? I keep on getting tongue twisted with the sunshine. And flavors from Florida is getting me tongue twisted too. Yeah, you're saying like flavors S's, of Florida? And then too many S's. It's yeah. like too much of the same letter. Well, here. Cheers to the Sunshine Stroll, Sally. Sunshine Stroll. Sunshine Stroll. <laughs> Try with an orange. See how that oh, goes. Oh, thank you. Oh. So you do a little orange? Walking on sunshine. 
<laughs> wow. And they're opening up the, the, uh, the windows here. They're raising the blinds. This is very cozy. Honestly, this is a very nice, refreshing beer. Not very beer or hoppy tasting, and it's, it's refreshing. Perfect beer for a sunshine stroll. Look at that. They just started opening up the, the, uh, the curtains there, and I love sitting out back here. It's so cozy. You can watch the balloon, just hang out, take a sunshine stroll. Here is the special for the flavors of Florida. I think it's just goat goat cheese dip and uh, chips. Yeah, the goat cheese is mixed with this beer. Oh, so everything is uh, sunny, huh? Yeah, that's why I wanted to get this beer. They kind of whip it together. Well, I'll have a chip, but I don't know about the dip. Those are regular. These are salt, or one of them is salt and vinegar. I do not want salt and vinegar chips. I don't know which is which. I think this is salt and vinegar. Oh, wow. I'm so glad you told me. Since I didn't get anything to eat here, I ended up just getting a nice uh, sunny beer. Uh, I think maybe we'll go across the street to Wine Bar George. They have grilled scallops on the menu, but it does look like it's just regular scallops. They got grapefruit stuff in there and uh, watermelon, watermelon foam. I haven't even heard of that, so kind of, kind of fancy. I, actually, I want to try the scallops. I want to try the scallops with watermelon foam. Luckily, Wine Bar George is just across the way here, and uh, I don't know if we need a reservation. I, I, like I said, almost everywhere has something for the flavors of Florida, and if not, you see those big orange stickers, you know, something's going on. If I had time, I probably would get uh, the uh, meatballs here. They're actually really, really good. Uh, but the uh, flavors of Florida dishes, like I told you, a very fancy, uh, fancy, what is it? One meatball. One meatball. I wish it was one meatball. Oh, oh it's a grilled scallop. scallop. Egypt. Yes, with the watermelon foam. With the watermelon foam. <laughs> Here it is, the grilled scallop ceviche. And there's the watermelon foam right there, the grapefruit. Kind of interested. It's a, it's a cold dish, so I'm going to take a little watermelon. Did you already have some of this? No. Are you going to try some? Of course. Oh, boy. I don't know. I thought these were scallops, like, you know, hot, fresh. Like, we're getting you out of your comfort zone, Nate. This is cold scallops with watermelon foam. Did had, I? You had raw scallops last year at uh, Haleo, remember? For Flavors of Florida. I was really? Like, yeah, we ate raw scallops, and they were great. And I remember you thinking they were pretty good, so. Well, I'm trying it now. <laughs> don't want to lose my watermelon foam. No. <laughs> The first thing I tasted was the watermelon foam, and I was like, this is very good. And then it kind of like foamed away, and then I just tasted it, and I, I don't like it. And it's not that it's bad, it's just that I don't like a lot of cold fish. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, a lot of people do like it, but uh, I, I thought it was going to be like a hot grilled scallop, but it's a cold grilled ceviche. <laughs> I would get a lot of that watermelon foam on there. <laughs> the watermelon foam is the only redeeming part of it for you. <laughs> but it kind of all works together in a, in a weird, weird way. I really like the tomato in there too. I think the tomato fits perfectly. Not my cup of tea. The watermelon foam is good. It's almost tossed in like a citrusy vinaigrette too. It has a great flavor. I like it. It's funny because I've been just trying to get some regular food and not a sweet treat. And I thought I was going to uh, Jock Lindsay's. Usually they have something on the menu that it's something that I like. But uh, they had the goat cheese dip and I had some chips. And then I was like, oh, Wine Bar George, go across the way. And I got excited for the grilled scallops, but it's a grilled scallop ceviche. Total mind blown. And I did not like it, but the watermelon foam was pretty good. Uh, so I guess we're going to continue on. And I think maybe somewhere else on the lake next because I think they have some uh, Key West shrimp. I like a little shrimp. Kristen, you really like that ceviche? I like I, I like more like adventurous things than you, so yeah. Oh, would you order it again? I would. I really liked it. I wow. love scallops. Scallops are one of my favorite seafood. But what about the watermelon foam? I thought it was interesting. Yeah, that was really like the best complex, part of it. Complex dish. Complex. 
the majority of the food items for the flavors of uh, Florida are uh, mostly like sweet treats. Lots of Dole Whips, lots of mousses, lots of chocolate, lots of key lime things. Uh, uh, mostly because uh, key lime is such a popular thing in Florida. But uh, one thing I was looking forward to was some good shrimp. And uh, Summer House on the Lake, it's got the only shrimp on the menu, I think, really. Like actual whole shrimp. I have to wonder if Summer House on the Lake has a uh, Flavors of Florida cookie. They don't do many special cookies, they just got their core menu, but we're coming for the shrimp, the shrimp in business. That bird's got some popcorn right there. Got some good popcorn. Here is the special menu, and they have the flavors of Florida down here. Key West shrimp, Tostanos, Chili Verde, Florida citrus salsa with black beans for $25.95, and a key lime pine martini. I think I'm going to do the shrimp, but they also have a lot of other like specials, too. I don't think that's a part of the flavors of Florida, though. I like sitting outside because you can hear the live music from Splitsville, but it is a little bit hot, and they need bigger fans. I think the blades on the fans are just a little too tiny. You can see them up there. Oh my god, they are really tiny. Right? They're like very tiny blades. <laughs> and like, they probably would create more wind if they, you know what I mean? <laughs> a bunch of tiny blades. <laughs> Here they are. Look at that. Key West shrimp. Look at that. They're probably bigger suckers in there too. And then the testones are underneath there. I'm excited. I don't know if I like that sauce on there though. As soon as I saw that sauce, I knew. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's your key oh, lime. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. You're so welcome. That looks really fancy. Got key lime, uh, like cracker crumbs on the outside there. Fancy. Fancy. I don't know. I guess we're going to dive in. You're going to try some of this too, right? It actually smells amazing from what I could smell just on the little fork here. And I got a little bit of everything on there. And uh, figured I'd dive in. Kristen does not like the key lime pie martini. Doesn't approve. Ooh, it is, it, it doesn't have any cream in it, which a key lime pie martini is supposed to be like a creamy drink. It tastes like a watered down, watered down lemon drop martini. Not yeah, a fan. Not a fan. And we had the Tostitos, they have some white sauce on it. There was an aioli on it. I always call it an undisclosed mayo. That's undisclosed what I call it mayo. An undisclosed mayo because it didn't say it on the menu. So yeah. We, we would have asked for it without it, but since it didn't say it on the menu, we had no idea. So we're going to see if we could get some without the sauce on it. Ain't no mayo, eh? Ain't no mayo for us. Hey. I kind of just want to take it like a little sandwich with the tostones and just take the shrimp. I'm not that big of a fan of tostones, but these are actually delicious. I ended up eating one on its own, and this one I folded up almost like a little taco, and have shrimp and beans in there, and I like this. This is probably my favorite savory thing. It's honestly almost the only thing that I like savory, but th there is that deluxe burger I, I was looking at earlier. I don't know, but if I don't get any other savory items, I think this is probably my favorite item of uh, Flavors of Florida enough with summer house on the lake but i really do love uh the the shrimp tostanos tostanos tostinos he keeps calling them to tostinos like the pizza rolls i know i don't know why i keep doing this so tostinis <laughs> you're not anywhere close tostones tostones and uh we're gonna uh go get uh, i think strawberry shortcake over at everglades heck yeah that's all right now i'm back on the sweet treat track the street treat track. <laughs> I haven't gotten the chance to see Inside Out 2 yet. Let me know in the comments if you guys have uh, got to see it yet and what do you think. So far, it's the highest grossing movie of 2024. You know, this one was a, uh, a big, uh, a big uh, budget banger for uh, Disney. They made a lot of money on that one. This is legit a strawberry shortcake donut. Glazed donut filled with fresh strawberries, whipped cream, and dusted with powdered sugar. Honestly, I am obsessed with this. Look at that. It looks so good. I kind of want to open it up, but I don't want to ruin it, you know? Oh, no, they didn't. <laughs> I'm going in. Honestly, this might be the winner right here. That is so good. I'm obsessed, but I think I have to go grab a fork and knife. I tried to eat it like a regular donut, 
and the whipped cream just kind of like shot off on the sides and I ended up with whipped cream all over my face so I think it's definitely something a, a knife and fork can help with I didn't know there was gonna be all that strawberry inside there this is so I I'm obsessed uh, this is definitely something I would get again I bought Kristen a donut and she bought me a uh, a soda. A strawberry Italian soda that's just uh, Canada Dry Club soda. Wow, and this with is a part of syrup. Oh, that's it? Yeah. It's like a Shirley Temple, but with strawberry instead of cherry. And and club soda instead of Sprite. Uh -oh. So it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really not. I feel like I, I feel like that's what Michael Scott would say. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. This is a part of the flavors for Florida, and actually I like it. It's an Italian soda. That's not too bad. No, you don't like it? I mean, I'm just a little salty that it's Canada Dry. They couldn't even use, like, Pellegrino. Yeah, a little Pellegrino would be nice, but I do like Canada Dry, you know? <laughs> I'm going to start making my way back up through Disney Springs. We have to stop at uh, Sprinkles to get Gracie her cupcakes, and I might call it a night. I thought I can get a little bit more, but uh, I'll save flavors for Florida for another day. Another, another trip to the Springs. I love summers at Disney Spring. Go ahead, go over there and dance. I'll get you. The shot class. <laughs> it also looks like there's a storm coming in. A storm is a brooming. They have some 4th of July decorations around the town center here. I don't know if they do anything here for the 4th of July. Usually people end up going to Magic Kingdom on the 3rd because they do their fireworks on the 3rd and the 4th. And then they go to Epcot on the 4th. So you get both shows because Epcot's fireworks are only on the 4th. But you can go to Magic Kingdom on the 3rd and see them a day early. Um, but I'm not too sure what I'm going to do this year. I'm not too sure if I'm going to, you know, maybe have a barbecue or a cook out or if I uh, continue going to the parks and seeing the fireworks honestly it's been the past couple of years I've always go to like uh, the fireworks at Magic Kingdom and if you get in the hub there it almost is impossible to get out it gets so busy in there and you get like kind of like you get crammed in there and you can't escape I was gonna use the sprinkles ATM but it's closed and I haven't seen this many people in here in a long time. They got some special cupcakes going on. Oh, very crowded. I love sprinkles. I got Gracie the three pack and now it's time to head home. I wanted to stay to show the drone show, but I think it's starting to get a little bit uh, stormy looking outside. And uh, I don't know if it's gonna happen. I mean, just take a look at the balloons there. I don't know how the drones would be able to stay in the sky. They're about to hit the ground. Oh boy. <laughs> One thing I always wanted to do was come in and take the pup cakes and put them right here. Just like Gracie. Look at that. This would be Gracie right here though. He wasn't here. <laughs> you want a pup cake? I guess Gracie's not the only one that loves the cupcakes, and I don't know, I just wanted to set it up there and pretend like I was giving it to Gracie, and then someone else wanted to eat them, so <laughs> now I think we're going to head home, Gave, uh, we're going to go see the real Gracie, time to go see the real Gracie and give Gracie the, the cupcakes, give the, the cupcakes to the real Gracie. Oh, Gracie, I have a cupcake delivery, oh, look at it. Cupcakes! <laughs> you want one now? Oh yeah! Oh, yeah! You want this? You want this? If there are any pet owners out there, does anybody else get excited when your pets like eat or drink? Like I just love sitting here like seeing her eat the pup cake and hearing her. But when she goes to drink water, I'm like, yeah, good girl, drink the water. I get excited. But like she's just drinking what well, she's probably like, why is he saying good girl? Just drinking water. <laughs> I always think about that, you know what I mean? Now she's got her pup cake, she's gonna wanna lay down on the grass. All right, I'm down. 
Oh. <laughs> okay. Let me see the belly. <laughs> Look at she's got a little frosting on her cheeks. I see her. Let me see this frosting. Let me get it off ya. <laughs> I like to play this game where I start to pet her and then I stop and then she gets a little like There she goes! <laughs> She's like a spring chicken. And with that, I think we are done here today. It was a very hot day at the uh, Flavors of Florida. Uh, I'm glad I got to hang out with Kristen for a little bit. We got to try a lot of the food, but Oh, that's too many. That's too much. We got to definitely split it up and uh, maybe a part two. I'll come back and show you guys some more of the food and uh, maybe we'll see the drone show. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.